How to write Walmart the high cost of low price. What's an argumentative essay? An argumentative essay it's a type of report that requires you to study a certain topic, gather, and evaluate evidence, and then state your stand on the topic. Like other types of papers, this essay should have three sections, introduction, body, and conclusion. All the sections require you to follow a unique format that portrays the argument. Additionally, you should research the topic to understand it better and present tangible evidence. Therefore, read through this article and take note of the essential parts of this essay. But remember, you can always contact us when you need help writing this kind of essay. What's a critical essay? A critical essay is a paper that interprets and evaluates another document, like an article, book, or even a documentary. This essay usually has a specific type of audience. The author explores the strong and weak sides of a given topic or subject. While writing this essay, it's not necessarily criticizing the document, instead, you can support and praise its content. This report retains the typical features of other essays, including the introduction, body, and conclusion. You can have several paragraphs in the body depending on your number of ideas. As you write a critical essay, remember to read the text deeply and then start analyzing. Definition of the statement high cost of low price. According to Greenwald, the film director, Walmart offers low-priced products at the rest of the population's cost, like the workers, small businesses, and more. We may have experienced this scenario in many ways. Cheap is expensive, which means the same as the video title, price and cost are different factors one should consider when buying a product. For instance, when buying a product, it's not appropriate to choose based on price. Instead, other factors should come into play, like its quality. As a result, you will often find cheap products with low value while expensive ones with high quality, therefore, when you buy a cheaper product with less value. It costs more since you will need to replace it soon. However, an expensive, high quality product will cost you less since the product will serve you longer than the cheap one, so, the film director proves that cheap is expensive, with evidence of how Walmart's business practices cost the community at the expense of low-priced products. So, your essay should outline his opinions, highlight the disputes and then come up with a conclusion. Outline of Walmart the High Cost of Low Price Essay This type of essay should have three sections as follows. Introduction. In this part, you should explain some background information about the movie. Let the readers know what's the movie's content and its director. Then, again, elaborate on the Walmart company for the reader to understand the film's setting. With this technique, the reader will understand where the theme originates. Finally, ensure you indicate your thesis on the topic. Your thesis should indicate your stand on Robert's documentary. The thesis statement should be almost at the end of your introduction. Use words that show emphasis like should, ought, must, and more. For example, some of the claims raised by Greenwald may be truthful, and the company should look into the claims and rectify where there are issues. Even if they can't confess to the public, let them own up even as they respond to clear their name, body. Remember, there are two ways in which you can present this essay, either as an argumentative or a critical essay. So let's start by explaining how to write this essay as argumentative. This section should follow a certain format depending on the kind of topic you have. In our essay example, I would prefer we use the classical method here. This style is more straightforward as you present your argument, explain the opposition's argument. And present evidence. The Walmart film has two sides of the story the director's opinion and Walmart's responses to the claims. First, you should present the director's argument and the company's response to a particular claim. Then, later give evidence on the claim, we will break down all the claims for you, present the responses, and our evidence as a guideline on how you should write this essay. Claims presented by Robert Greenwald on Walmart Company, 
Walmart staff receive low salaries and form the larger group of people living below the poverty level. The company fails to compensate their staff for overtime hours. Several federal lawsuits were filed against the cooperate managers for pressuring their juniors to work without breaks. Sometimes they are even denied lunchtime breaks. The employees can't afford Walmart's health insurance due to their low pay, so the seniors advise them to seek the government Medicaid. The company outsources cheap manufacturing labor from third world countries like China instead of hiring skilled and unemployed people in the USA. The company also has poor working conditions. Like the parking lot that lacks security cameras, thus accelerating crime rates, the low-priced strategy has negatively impacted other businesses within the Walmart vicinity. The company sometimes hires undocumented people to exploit them with low wages and make profits from the claims listed above. You should try to expound on them deeply, as per the documentary, and where possible, support them with evidence from the documentary. Then, later, you can give your opinion and conclude on each point per paragraph, Walmart responses. To discuss the other side of the argument, you should explore Walmart's responses against each of the above claims. Match their response with facts for the reader's understanding. For instance, if Walmart pays their workers a certain amount per hour, find out whether that's the current rate in the USA. This approach will help you argue your points well. Always back up your points with evidence for the readers to trust your work. According to the company, this video attacked its associates and their community. To them, the video was propaganda, and Mr. Robert wasn't fair and accurate with his claims. The company retorted as follows. Walmart has offered jobs to 1.2 million American citizens, such as African American, Hispanic Americans, senior citizens, and women. Again, they participate in charitable events in the community. The text was their reply on not employing American citizens. As per their response, the employment claim on the video was wrong. On Walmart crushing other business, the HH hardware that Robert said was crushed thrived even after Walmart opened a new store in the area. The second owner opened a renovated store, Middlefield Hardware, and another, an ACE franchise, on October 20, 2005. Walmart pays workers low wages in Chicago. The company's average hourly rate for Chicago is $10.69, which is even higher than the established value of a living wage of $9.68 in Chicago. These are some of the company's responses to the claims raised by Greenwald. In your discussion, you can state that the company provides some facts against three claims in the essay, proving that they aren't as bad as the documentary. Again, the company is raising wages for their employees in the current market, especially after the COVID-19 hit. Though one would argue that Walmart's pay is relatively low than other retailers, it's still within the range. The current minimum wage of this largest retailer in the US is $12, and the average hourly wage is $16.40. Many retailers have been raising wages to attract and retain their workers in the competitive job market. Again, the issue of crashing the HH hardware in Middletown, Ohio, is correct, per the Greenwald documentary. When Walmart opened its store some miles away from the hardware, the first owner closed the shop and sold it. The hardware was reopened in October by a different person, so it's evident the first owner faced competition from Walmart stores and decided to close. However, Closing down the HH hardware sounds like an assumption because the business may have encountered other challenges. That's how you should present your points in an argumentative essay on Walmart the high cost of low price. You should follow a certain format to explain the points in your body. These sections make up the four components of an argument, present the claims of the documentary's director, counterclaims that is, responses given by Walmart, Reasoning explain what you think is right according to the issues raised, present evidence for example. If it's about the pay rate, give evidence they have raised or paying low. Here you can use statistical data or quote the experts who support your reasoning. Conclusion, in conclusion, 
state the importance of this discussion in a broader context. Why is the issue of high cost and low price important in our society? Show some arguments in the essay and provide solutions. Again, you can emphasize why you should address the issues to the reader, that's how you should write an argumentative essay on this film. If you get stranded while writing, don't hesitate to seek our graduate essay writing service. A critical essay on Walmart The High Cost of Low Price When writing a critical essay on this documentary, you should inform and evaluate the worth, truth, and beauty of the video. First, inform the reader about the film, don't assume they have watched it. Give background information about its director and Walmart's business. Remember you can give your opinions on the film, but you should have supportive evidence. Your essay outline should be as follows, introduction, introduce the author of the video and its title, state the author's main point in the film, give your evaluation of the video, which will be your thesis, add any information that might help the reader understand the essay. Body, in like two paragraphs, make a summary of the video's content. In the second part, start interpreting and evaluating the documentary. You should evaluate its strengths and weaknesses in the following ways. Accuracy of the information. Are there any assumptions or controversies? Is the author's language clear? Is the author biased? Does he present both sides of the issue without bias? Are there gaps in his arguments? What are the author's fallacies? Two emotional language, very simple, generalization, etc. Then, it's time to interpret the documentary. Don't judge anymore, give your opinion on the video, on what issues do you agree with the author, what points does he get right or wrong. Would you recommend this video as a credible research source, so, this interpretation is your thesis of the essay. So, in this part, you should support the opinion in your thesis, conclusion, reiterate the points you discussed in the essay and make a summary of the topic. Remember to state why the video is popular, Following the above outline will give you a great critical essay on Greenwald's documentary. You can also learn more about how to write a conclusion for an essay if you are tasked to write this kind of essay.